Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So in the last episode I set up this automation to make the tungsten plating. So let's go and have a look at that first of all because it's finished. I know because I picked it up and it registered the quest. So let's have a look. I've got 64 and 39 which is 94. I'm not sure exactly to be honest with you. Let's have a look. 93. Number it must be 103, mustn't it? 103. We only need 98. So let's have a look at the quest. That's in crystal. That's not in crystallized. That's the one that doesn't work for me at the moment. Take flight. I nope. It's start line. Nope. It's <laughs> elements. Yes, it's elements. So here we've got this one's completed. So I get a fantastic illumination wand. I claim that. I've done this quest in fact i don't need the illumination ones so what i'm going to do is to get rid of it and i'll show you how in a second so here we got to make 192 fusion walls now let's have a look at the recipe for fusion walls because it's obviously going to be expensive let's have a look at fusion wall i've got it selected so i've already looked at what it is and it's expensive but it gives us 16. so to make that 192 we need 12 times this so we need 12 of these mk64 mk storage lapis lazuli plate i don't think that's too difficult if i remember rightly uh dense lead plate that should be not too difficult either probably the same as doing normal plates cold chunks as well and but this one's going to be expensive so let's have a look at that so we should get 10 from doing these quests anyway which would be most of the way there. So to make one of these, we need four times 16 K storage. So that means we need 16 times four K storage, which means I think we need 64 times one K storage. So we need 64 of these things. So let's set the recipe for this first of all. And you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm also going to have to see if I can make another assembly table because the ME interface is actually full. So, so the assembly table is actually not too difficult by the looks of it. Let's see if we can do that. One gold gear. One diamond gear. One assembly table from BC Silicon. And we're going to put this down straight away. Now, what I've done is I actually set up another ME interface here. But that's actually not the best way to do this, is it? If you think about it. Oh. Let's get rid of this wand. Let's just remove this. Remove this. And put the ME interface down here. Like that. And we could put beside that ME interface the assembly table like this. Get that way a bit. Because it doesn't matter which one which way you do it, it's it's no big deal at all. So what we're also going to do is when we set up recipes in here like that, we can then I actually got two recipes. Oh, that was end, yes, that was end of, an ender chest and an ender tank. I can put those in there actually, like that, because they're assembly table recipes. So all I need then is a chest and an item duct. We'll do the same thing as the other one. Thirty-three chests, no big deal. Item ducts, I think, are in here. I've got one. I'll put the item on that. Actually, it links up with that one as well. Don't think I want that to do that. And we'll put the chest beside this one over here. Now oh, we got a double chest. Oh, then in that case, I will keep it actually. I don't think I need it like this, but uh, right click that should right click it off no oh, i probably have to use a wrench for doing that but this works no it doesn't work let's try with the ordinary crescent hammer oh yeah that works uh -huh. so that's just always active extract sorry do want extract always active like that so the only thing will go into there, into the ME interface. It doesn't really matter which one it goes into, I suspect. So there we are. 
so we can put more recipes in here and the reason I've done it like this is you'll see here this one's actually full so I can remove these two recipes like that because I made those so when we add new recipes into here you can't get space to do anything if it's if it's full sometimes you get like a nine block of iron you'll fill it all those four slots up before you can actually see the one you want so let's have a look what have I got in here nothing at the moment let's put these away these walls away I'm not sure if I'm going to set it up now or later on so the first thing we need to do is we need to make some let's take this and we need patterns for these things so let's make sure we've got some patterns and coded pattern that's just a blank one and um, what have I got there's a few stored items craftable items so we need to craft some patterns I'm sure we're gonna need about 10 of these things but before I do that let's get the stuff out that we we need for the other item so we need um, for one of these we need a 1k storage this one so we need 16 logic processes let's make sure we've got logic processes in here right craftable I want stored and craftable 16 I've got enough logic processes we need 64 and and 8 so we've got 8 16 is wasn't it and 64 of those oops wrong one 64 of these so those are the three items we need some dust Is it 32 we need? I think it's either 32 or 16. I've forgotten which. So let's have a quick look. 32. So I'm short of five, I think. Let's craft five of those. What else which do we need? Redstone block and glowstone block. So two redstone blocks. Craft one. Oops, one and one glowstone block which we've got already I think those are the items that we need let's go and check this dust again yeah we've got our five that should make 32 so these items should make let's check that we've got six items there we've got six items there good should make the ingredients to make a a, f uh, a pattern right let's go to that pattern that was the pattern for ender chests so it doesn't matter what order I put these things in I'm going to put it in like this because it seems sensible right and let's go and put those into the assembly table in fact I think I'll use this assembly table And then we can collect the 1k storage and then when we get the 1k storage I'm not sure how much power this needs it's probably loads oh it's just not yeah it's loads for almost 400 million RF so that's going to take a few seconds so while that's doing that let's go and make some more auto compressors from X comp press so this one I'm gonna make oh quite a few of these actually what have we got not too much let's have a look I'm going to make I think we'll make four so we want some um, iron so let's craft four of these and we're going to need some wood So we need, I think it's probably 64. That would be give me 16. No, I think that's the correct number we want actually. 16, good. And that was actually probably lucky. I was probably going to end up with more of those. So let's put those in in there. And then we need that should probably be enough. Let's see what we can do for this. Right, we'll start with three.
So what I'm going to do with these, I've got two things to do. Oh yes, I made some, I did some enchanting on books, but I'll show you that in a second. So we need to basically get, I would, well, need, I would like to start compressing this cobblestone up now, because we're getting quite a lot of cobblestone. Where shall we do this? I think around about here is fine. So all we need to do with basically is to, to put these compressors down like this. Do I need a duct between the two of them? Probably the answer is I probably do need a, some form of piping between them all because they should all now be have power in because it's they're all connected up to here like this. And here we can put into this a export node. So let's do that first of all. Export plus. And that's actually quite nice because that fits quite closely to that and I don't have to make any more cable. Oops. Like that. So we'll transfer between these two using probably a I'm going to use, uh, no, I don't think I'll use item cables, I'll just use the standard old the transfer nodes, I think, we'll do for that. Let's go upstairs and get some transfer nodes going. Because we've got plenty of them. After having replaced most of the automation with this, I'll take four with me, I know I'm only going to use three. I'll take some stack upgrades as well. I don't think I need those, because it, as it goes along it's going to get more and more compressed. And it's going to take longer and longer, so it leaves less and less. So, um, transfer nodes, that, and one piece of cobblestone. We've got 100, and, oh, well, 181,000 cobblestone, so it's, that's going up quite nicely. The well, cobblestone is basically just to, to put into the uh, export bus so these things can start to export. So this will give me compressed cobblestone. This will give me double compressed cobblestone. And into here we put a piece of cobblestone. So these should start to come in. Actually, I need to speed this up a bit. Let's speed it up. Let's put one speed upgrade. I've only got one left. Actually, I have to make some more. But I've got a crafting recipe for that now, so that's no big deal. In fact, I'm going to have to get that crafting recipe going because Where's my terminal? I'll move the terminal somewhere easier. So we can craft these. Let's craft 10. Start that. And also while we're crafting those, let's craft some of these as well. Patterns, we need 10 of those. So I've got my acceleration cards already. That's fast. So let's actually let's max this out. Oh, I probably don't need to max that out. Well, that's actually strange. For some reason, it's not coming in that fast. It's filled it up. It's not replacing it. Oh, maybe it's just I have to look at it, refresh the thing. So that's coming through there nicely. So we've already got one triple compressed cobblestone. Right, I'm going to make, we'll make some more of these, but how am I going to cable this up? Because I've then joined this. So I think what we'll have to do is go backwards the loop back. So that's the fourth one. Basically what I've got to make, of course, is lots and lots of bedrockium. So I think probably the best way to do this is using blocks of diamonds because the other just is too, it's just too long and too slow. Um, I think I've got everything I need, actually. Maybe I don't need to. Maybe I can just connect it on to... No, I do need to. So all I really do need to do is to put one down here like this. Yeah, I can do it like this. I 
can remove this one and I can put in here a piece of cable to feed that in and then we can feed it across like this where's my R transfer nodes one can go there like that one can go there like that and then what we need to do of course is to get some cable which I haven't got with me so I don't know where the cable has gone to I must have put it in a chest somewhere one of my over full inventories that oops that's a bit strange I have to bash it under Oh yeah, I'm getting some stuff in coming in now. What's that? Power one. Um, what did I want? I wanted a power cable. Don't have any in there. There must be upstairs somewhere. Probably one of these two chests. There we go, 20. I only need one. For the time being. In fact, I could do the same thing for the other one, of course. I could bring this one here as well. So you put that down like that, and I could do that. Let's have a look. So we've got two of these already. Fantastic. And that goes up fairly fast. What have I got in here? Compressed cobblestone. I don't want compressed cobblestone in there. I want the compressed cobblestone in here, don't I? Yes. Or compressed cobblestone. And cobblestone comes into here. Get rid of that one piece, can I? Yes, eventually. Okay, that's working fine. I probably can take out one of these speed upgrades from in here then. There's no point in putting extra ones in. Oh, design. Uh huh. That will remove it down to two because it's probably. It'll probably keep up anyway. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's even keeping up with one, I guess. Let's just have another check at that one. Yep, it's keeping up with one. Okay, good. That's fantastic. So we don't need to do anything, any speed upgrades, any stack upgrades in here at all. They're just going to work fine. In fact, what I will do is I'll move this one out of the way. Yeah, that did work. Good. And I'll do the same thing. Oh, actually, I, yes, I can do that. I was going to... No, I can't do that, can I? Ah, it didn't work. Well, it won't work because I can't connect to this one. So anyway, I'll leave it back as it was. It's fine. So what have I got here? Double compressed and triple compressed. This one should have... It's too fast. I didn't see what it was. This has got double compressed. Coming into that. This one's got triple compressed coming into here. Yes, super. Fantastic. And this will end up with lots and lots of quadruple compressed cobblestone, which of course we can feed back into the system. I think we will do that as well. Let's just take an import bus on the end of here. Storage bus. Actually, storage bus might do import bus. And then we can just connect that up like that. Try again. So it'll then connect into here and do this one. So this one is still smelting lots and lots of Mars cobblestone, producing lots and lots of water. Which in turn is producing, this one's producing oil. So we need to do something with this oil as well, don't we? And this was just a bit of extra for some lava, what do I want? Netherrack or glue, um, endstone from that particular one. So this will be doing quite nicely. 85 billion I don't know if I can ex it says I should be able to do this as a tier 2 energy core I think there's a tier 3 energy core but I'm not sure how to get there yet I've, I haven't done that much draconic, draconic evolution ok right so let's go now and have a look outside because what I was doing I was, I was enchanting some books I think the books will be in one of these chests Oh, here we go. And I enchanted these to level 30. So I've got a lure 2 and an efficiency 4. 
but they were too, proving to be actually too expensive to, in terms of XP. I didn't have that much XP to do four books to make magic magic wood. Let's look for the recipe of magic wood. I've forgotten it. So you needed four books, and that would give you one. But these are at level one. This is what I actually ended up doing. I made it, I made twelve of these. Because the recipe for that, I, the usage of this one, was to make some spikes, gold spikes. If you can find them. Assembly table, shape crafting, yes, here we go. So I made some gold spikes here. So I needed three pieces. And the rest of it was fairly straightforward. And then, of course, with the gold spikes, what we can do with that one is we can make diamond spikes. So I ended up making four diamond spikes and having an extra gold spike. So what I did with those is to bring them outside like this, because with gold spikes and and diamond spikes, the mobs get spawned and they will actually get killed quite quickly. Ooh, is that not working? This hopper duck should be working, and for some reason it didn't seem to be put the put it the stuff in there, and it's taking it away nicely. But why is it not collecting the stuff? Because that's not full, that's going away. Oh, it is collecting it. Oops, try that again. Ah, oh, maybe it's not got enough range to pick up all the stuff at the back there. Can we stick this one up, hop it up one higher? Maybe we can actually, let's do that. Because at the moment, while these mobs are coming here and getting ground, let's put that up here. It doesn't prevent the mobs dropping down, of course. And let's select this one. I have to go a bit carefully here, actually. So I need this side, and I want it to do it... I think it's this side. Yes, it is. And the item duct is this side. I want it on that side. Yeah, fantastic. So now I just break away these. Take quite a lot of breaking these two, by the way. So now we can put. Where have they gone to? Have they been taken by the hopper duct? Yes, they have. I thought they might have been, actually. <laughs> So I'll put the chest down first of all. Put it here. Oh, let's put it here. Yep, that's fine. And this one here like this. So that's working nicely. We can put the stuff in. And that gets taken away quite nicely. And I think it should be absorbing all the XP this time. So the, so the diamond ones give you player drops and the gold one just gives you XP, I think. That's how it works. Iron don't, doesn't give you XP, it just kills them. But they're spawning quite reasonably well now, so dropping down there from the fans and getting ground. It doesn't take that long for them to get around. I'll come back in a minute and see how that's getting on. Because I've got a whole load of stuff that I don't really need on me. was being picked up from the mobs. So we've got another bow, we've got some arrows, got some glowstone. And I think that's it. Anyway, this thing should have finished now. Oh good, it's finished good. So now let's come along here and have a look for our 1k storage. We've got one. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to come along here and put that into this recipe like that there. And then we can make our pattern so we've now got a 1k storage pattern. So let's go and put this down. I'll put it in the first ME, ME bus here, I think. So I've got, oh no, yes, I've got one space I thought I had. So we need to make 64 of these. So let, I think that's the number. Well, we'll double check it later on, but I think we'll come along here 
And we'll see if we can make 64. Um, craft. We might not have res enough resources. We'll soon find out. So we don't have enough aluminium or gold or pure certis quartz by a long way. Or silicon. Now silicon we can deal with. Pure certis quartz might be more difficult but probably not impossible. And glowstone. So we don't have a recipe for glowstone blocks yet. But we have a lot of phosphorus available. So we'll make the glowstone blocks using the phosphorus I think. As we are supposed to using glowstone itself. Because glowstone we should get a little bit in but I'll take one of those like that. So the other things, let's have a look. Let me try that again. So we need silicon and we need aluminium and gold. Okay. I've also got lots of seeds. Let's have a look for the seed. This is the such quartz seed. We'll just fill this in like that and put those into here. I'm sure I just have to automate this. like that um so the aluminium and the we're going to do that downstairs now silicon is easy enough basically cilion <laughs> cilion what have we got in here that's an import bus great and these are import buses too ah oh, yes of course those are importing sand and dust aren't they And I think they should import. I want it on the yellow side. Okay, that's good. So what we need here is cobblestone. And I've put the cobblestone block. Oh, it's just no problem. I can get some cobblestone out of here, no problem. Like that. So we'll put cobblestone in here. So that's going to come through into here like this. We'll stack it. We'll make sure we get a speed upgrade on that as well, because we'll need speed upgrade. So that'll fill up here. That's going to get pulverized to sand and gravel. The sand's going to get taken out, and the gravel's going to come in here and produce sand. The sand, I think that should be dust, actually. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't matter what it is. It's going to import anything, because it'll be on the yellow side, won't it? Top will be yellow. So this is then going to come along here, and it's going to make uh, sand. It's going to make silicon, and the silicon's going to go into the system. So what I'm going to do for the system now. So in order to keep a permanent stock of this, we're going to set up an export bus with a crafting. Where's the terminal going to? So I've got a crafting card, no problem. I've got some export buses, I think. Not actually, let's make some of those. Can quickly get some export buses. What's that? Storage buses, fluid input buses. Okay. Ten. Right, good. And what I want in here, I've got some buffers. But not here, I've got them upstairs in that chest. If I put a storage bus on here, it will actually the trouble is it'll feed everything into the here, so I don't want to do that. Anything that's not in this chest will get fed in. So I've got some buffers here. So buffer basically represents nine stacks of whatever we've got in it. So what I'm going to do is come over here. I'll do it over here, I think. So I've got a storage bus on here, and that's a bit of a nuisance because really I don't want that on there. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll do it on this one here. This has not been used, so we can move that one off here. Put in the buffer at the top like that and what we want to do is we want to store it into this buffer let's put an export bus yes we need the export bus now here and in this export bus we want silicon and i don't have any silicon with me because i didn't bring any okay snack up there no problem So 
So we can export into this system here at Silicon. We'll put, up, put a speed upgrade in there as well. So that's start, going to start to fill up with silicon. In fact, I don't know whether this is going to be enough silicon. What did it say for the recipe for doing 64 of those? If it's not enough, what I'm going to do is simply upgrade this to something like a cache. So we've got enough items in there all the time. And in fact, if I come along here, I should be able to also put... Can I put a crafting card in here? Yes, I can. Good. So if there isn't silicon in here, it will craft it automatically. So it'll always keep a buffer of nine stacks of silicon. So let's go upstairs. What we can do, of course, is this. We can put into here, instead of exporting that, we can put a 1K storage bus in here like that. So that's then going to trigger off things to be made automatically as it, as it's in use. So if we look now at crafting, no crafting job. Why not? Let's see if we can craft one of those. Ah, glowstone. We haven't got a recipe for glowstone yet. Right, glowstone. What we're going to do with glowstone is we're going to mine commit. I think it's probably the best way. So let's come over here. I've got a book here with keratin in it. And I've got some spare books somewhere or other. And I forgot where I put them. Actually, I saw some chemist journals in here, didn't I? Uh, let's have a look at this one. It seems to me might be empty. Yes, this one's empty. Good. So we'll use this one to make uh, glowstone. So that's just four phosphorus. One glowstone is one phosphorus. So that's no loss in that respect. So we can then select glowstone. So that's mine, Kim. So we can go downstairs, and I think I've got a spare synthesizer. And I think the spare synthesizer is this one. It is good. So what we need to. Oh, yes. I've got a book in here with doing endearing ingots, but of course, I'm not doing it that way anymore. So let's go rid of those two. And chemist journal. Glowstone, fantastic. So now we need... Oh, I didn't do the glowstone pattern, did I? I forgot. We'll quickly do a glowstone pattern. So what we want is four phosphorus. We can clear that one off. No, we don't need that one. So it was actually just four. We don't... It's actually the recipe. Oh, processor needs to make one glowstone. Should have put that in there. Now we should have our patterns back. So we've got some more patterns in here. Good. So let's go downstairs, fill this in, and then it should actually start auto crafting this without me having to do anything else. going to become a challenge remembering where I've put everything by the way. So that's the glowstone one. So in here it should automatically make that. So we've got an import bus that we put on the bottom like that. So that is okay of course we haven't started actually we do have a recipe already prepared. Let's go back over here to this terminal and see if we can craft one of those things. Um, it's a 1k storage isn't it in fact it's already working it's scheduled to make that one so that'll keep doing this until we find a and I don't think you need to worry about aluminium because aluminium will automatically start to decompose so the only problem we're going to have is um, the Certis Quartz so aluminium which is probably 
one of these machines I might have a lot of aluminium in stock already here we go aluminium so that's 1152 is the normal one chest's worth And we've got 1176 here so there's plenty of aluminium probably some's already in storage in another place until that gets used up that's no big deal uh i think that's everything yep and they should end up in here when they started to work Whew, that was quite a challenge wasn't it so i hope you've enjoyed this episode uh, it's, we're making progress slowly, uh, but until so anyway, until next time, bye for now.